let's say that you have the addition problem 500 plus 1.335. Taking account of significant figures, what is the answer? So 500 plus 1.335 is? Is if assuming 500 has only one significant figure instead of three, the answer is the answer is 500, and that's because if you were to add this without significant figures, uh, you would get or you would get 500 and 501.335. But since 500 only has one significant figure, uh, and when adding or subtracting, you take the number with the lowest uh, amount of significant, then your answer is 500. All right, and now we're gonna do a subtraction problem. So let's say you have a big number like 300 and subtract 47.5 from it. Same rule for sig figs for addition applies to subtraction. So, if we were to uh, subtract this without significant figures, we would get 200 and, uh, 252.5 as our answer. Yeah. Uh, but because 300 only has one significant figure, we apply this to our answer and we round up to 300. What a surprise! It looks like it's super close to 200, but in reality it's 300. Three? times 10 to the 6 and then you multiply that by 0 0.082 times 10 to the 4. As an extra challenge, you will have to write this one in scientific notation. But lucky for you, I've got a calculator. Yeah. So, right. yeah. So, with this problem, we can just multiply 3 times... Oh, Oopsies. it's alright. We can multiply 3 times 0 0.082. So, so, 3 times... 0 0.082 equals 2.46 okay, so or 0.246 sorry Times. and then um, when multiplying uh, when multiplying 10 to an exponent we can just add the exponents together so that's 10 to the 10th and then you can convert it into scientific notation oh right and so we just move the decimal place decimal point one back so it's 2.46 and then times 10 to the ninth because we're reducing it by one power by moving that decimal place good job Bari science lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming